In this video, we are going to see how to send Slack messages for new Notion database items. So here we know that Notion is a note taking platform where every time a new database item is created, you want to inform your team about the same by sending messages on Slack. Slack is a social messaging service. Now here, how can you do this? You will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. So here your trigger application would be Notion and your action application would be Slack. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, there is a tab create workflow. As I click on that, a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is to send Slack messages for new Notion database items. I'm going to click on create. As I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of our trigger application. Now, as per this integration, every time a new database item is created in Notion, which is a note making application, here, a message has to be sent to my team sitting on Slack. So my trigger application would be Notion. Let's click on this. And the trigger event here would be new database item. Now here on the right hand side, you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every eight hours, which basically means that this trigger application has a polling time of eight hours. I'm going to click on connect. And as I do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Notion's account. Let's click on add new connection, connect with Notion and I already have logged into my Notion's account. So here you can see that Pabli Connect is requesting access to this Pabli Connect workspace that I have created in Notion and I'm going to click on select pages and then I'm going to select all the pages and click on allow access. As I do that here, you can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Notion is now connected with Pabli Connect. And now here we have to provide the database ID. So this is my Notions account where these are the various document IDs. Here I'm working on this particular document. The name is task. So here you can create a new document by clicking on this plus icon and you can add a page. And then here you can see that I've created a table with the following fields, name, email, task description, created date and due date. And then I've filled in the information over here. Now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and as I click on save and send test request, here you can see that I have received the API response. So this here is the description, document description and then we have the name of the person. Then we have the email address and here we have the created date and due date. So once we have received this information, now my objective is to send a message on Slack to my team about this task created. So I'm going to choose my next application as Slack. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to send channel message. Let's click on connect. And here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Slack account. So I'm going to click on add new connection, connect with Slack. Now here we have to provide the token type. So since when we are sending messages to our team, it may or may not contain videos and URLs. So whenever you're sending messages, so it is better to use user as a token. So I'm going to choose user. Let's click on connect. And here you can see that Pabli Connect is requesting permission to access the Pabli Slack workspace. Let's click on allow because this is absolutely secure. And here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which again means that Pabli Connect is now connected with Slack. Now here we have to map this information, the channel, message, etc. So first I'm going to take you to my Slack account. 
Now here you can see that these are the various channels that I have created and here I have created a specific channel which is Notion Slack and I have added a few members here. So I'm going to choose the same. Now to create a new channel, all you have to do is you have to click on this add channels, then provide a name to your channel and add a few members to them. Now going back to Pabli Connect here, I'm going to select Notion Slack. This is my channel. Now the message to be written. So I'm going to write team. A new task has been created in Notion. Then the details. Okay. Now the details are. So I'm going to map the details. How do I do that? So you can see the previous step here. As I click on this. So you might be you would be able to see the response and First of all, I want to take the name. So here I'm going to write name. Then the next thing is description, task description. Okay, so the task description should be mapped. Here is the description. Then we have the email address of the person. And again, let's quickly map this. So this is the email address. And then I have the due date. Okay, so what is the due date? Let me write. Okay, so here is the due date. And let's also mention the created date. So again, as I write created, so this here is the created date. Regards. So these are the, so this is the information that I want to share with my team. Now comes the image URL, image alt text. Since we are not sending any image, we don't have to fill this in. If you are sending an image, you can map the URL here and the text here. Then the boat name, boat icon. And then I'm going to directly come down and click on save and send test request. And as I do that here, we can see that we have received the API response. And this is the message, the text that must be shared with my team sitting on Slack. Let me show you the same. So here we can see that yes, a message has been sent on Slack, which basically means that this integration process is a complete success. Now I'm not going to check this in real time because this application has a polling time of eight hours, but this is how the integration has to be done. Let's quickly check what we have done. Here our trigger application was Notion, the event was new database item and our action application was Slack, the event was send channel message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.